Today, we're opening up some temporal forces in hopes of making a profit. Now, this set has not been treating me too good so far, but let's turn that luck around today and hopefully make a profit off this ETB. As always, we're going to be having our monthly giveaway where you can select one of these ETBs, so make sure to keep on watching for details on how to enter that giveaway. Here we have ourselves the Iron Leaves ETB. We have already opened up the Walking Wake ETB, so make sure to go back and check that one out if you haven't watched it already. But today we're going to go ahead and see if we can actually make a profit. The value of the box is right now at $50, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. First up, just like every single ETB, you have yourselves your player's guide, which is going to be right in here for you, shows you every single card in the set itself. Let's go ahead and open up this box and let's see what we can actually pull out of here first. Looks like the first thing that catches my eye, of course, would be the promo card. For this ETB, you get yourself the promo card of the Iron Thorns, which is actually the future form of Tyranitar, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. What a sweet promo to throw in there. Up next inside the ETB, of course, you have yourself your deck of energy cards. Not really much you can do with those, but let me know down in the comments what you usually do with them. Then we have ourselves our card sleeves, nice colorway on this one right here. And then behind, we do have the silver, opposed to the gold that you had in the other ETB. Up next in the box, you will get part one of your damage counters, which are going to be your burned and poisoned coins. And then right behind that, we will go ahead and see what else we can find from inside the ETB, which we will have our deck dividers. So you have the same colorway with the iron leaves on there, of course. When we turn these around, you have yourselves a nice mint green, kind of fading into white with some polka dots on the back of that. And of course, you will also have your dice. I believe this is gonna be the exact same colorway or the exact same dice or damage counters that you get from the Walking Wake ETB. Finally, we have ourselves our booster packs, all nine of them to be exact. So let's go ahead and get started with pack number one. Iron Crown will go ahead and start off the opening for us. Now, from all those things you did see in the box itself, not including the packs, you do have yourself a value of right around $7, which will go ahead and help us out with the opening, meaning we need to go ahead and make at least $43 if we want to break even or even make a profit. Starting things off, you have yourselves your Leaf Energy, going into a Hoot Hoot, and then a Beldum, and right behind, we have a Breloom, a Scream Tail. I always like that little flow of the future and the past cards, even like on that one right there as well. First slot, looks like we don't get anything there. But come and get something in the first pack and I thought we had something but it's just going to go ahead and be a future holo card. Going into pack number two, hopefully we can get something to start off the video pretty strong. If not, we are going to be looking at a pretty big amount that we are going to end up losing from the ETB itself. Now all these bolt cards, I'm not really going to count them. You can go ahead and count them probably a couple dollars at the end of the video. But I'm not going to use it towards our value because I really just want to find some cards and see what we can go ahead and pull in order to make a profit. Now, I thought we had something there as well. Nothing there. And behind there, we have ourselves an EX card. So not a huge value or not a ton of value on that one, but it still is going to be a hit, which is going to help us out with that total value. We're coming up close for just a month of this brand new set being released. And that is why a lot of these cards aren't going to go for a whole bunch just yet. In the first couple months or so, or at least when the set is in print, these cards aren't going at their all time high just because anybody can go to the store, purchase these packs, and ultimately pull a lot of these cards. There's actually only a total of about six cards that we can pull that'll put us all over this total value or this negative value of 4260. So hopefully we can pull one of those or any other hits I'd gladly take because there's a ton of cards I would love to pull from this set. If I had to choose one, my current chase card would be the Raging Bolt EX Illustration Rare. I just love the artwork on that card. That has to be one of my favorite cards, but honestly, all those special illustration rare cards are pretty sweet, and that's my favorite pretty much class of cards currently in where the Pokemon CCG is at. Let me know down in the comments what's your current chase card of the set itself, and I want to see what everybody's hunting after. Haven't opened up a lot of Temporal Forces yet so far, but the pull rates, let's go ahead and take a look. Nothing here. And looks like we will not have anything there as well. Just a plain old holo card. And it does seem like they have lowered the pull rates for this set. At first, I thought it was just me having bad luck. But after watching a couple videos on YouTube of other people opening up this set, it seems like they are having the same issue. In previous sets, you were able to pull a couple illustration rares or a couple hits out of just a single ETB. But now it's becoming extremely difficult. Now, this is a bad thing and a good thing. The good thing is that the card will go up in value, but the bad thing is that we will be spending more money ultimately on opening up packs. Now, right here, looks like we are going to be going into it and nothing there as well. Right behind there, we don't have anything here. It's looking pretty bad and it's looking like a pretty big loss so far in the video. Now, I do just want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. 
I am not actually always opening up Pokemon cards for the sake of just finding a profit because that is going to be extremely difficult to do. You might strike gold here every once in a while, but it is not a good thing if you're looking to make some money. I open them just because I'm a fan and a huge collector and also because I want to show you what you can potentially pull in packs and just to give you an idea of what your pullets can look like. Looks like we finally strike with a good card. We have ourselves an illustration rare. That might be my first illustration rare of the set and what a beautiful card to go ahead and pull. We don't get nothing behind there, but it is a good pack and it go ahead and brings down the dent from our loss a little bit. So if we can actually pull one of the big hitters in the set, which is like the top five or six cards, we will be in the green. Other than that, I'm just happy to pull any cards because there's a lot of cards that I don't have yet. And there's a lot of cards I would love to have. We have ourselves right here looks like a rapidash going into a bolton and then behind here can we pull something nothing there and behind there we do not get anything there as well i always get fooled with the borders of these hollow cards because it has a nice shine to it and when you're opening up the packs it sometimes looks like a hit but now it's time to see if you have better luck at opening up packs and here's how you can enter the giveaway all you need to do is just make sure you drop a like on this video or any video that is uploaded in the month of april and then just drop a comment on any video as well and make sure you're subscribed at the end of the month or pretty much the first video of may i will go ahead and be posting a video and be announcing the winner in this video i will also be announcing or down in the comments if you go ahead and check that out i will be announcing the winner of last month's giveaway for the month of march i appreciate each and every one of you that shows love to the channel i know i haven't been the most consistent but we're currently working on that we're currently halfway through april so let's go ahead and keep on pushing with these videos and end the month off strong going into may we need to almost hit a miracle if we want to go ahead and make a profit but it's always nice just opening up some packs so let's go ahead and go on slow with this one picking things off we have ourselves a steel energy and one question i do really have is what's your favorite type of energy or what's your favorite type of pokemon mines would probably have to be fire but who even knows it might be something else for everyone out there watching right behind here underneath that steel we have nothing there and then right behind here looks like we end it on a hit not a huge hit but it's still a hit here's a recap of everything that we went ahead and pulled in the video we did ultimately end up taking a loss of about 36 dollars so not a great way to go ahead and open up an etb but at least we got a couple cards. Make sure to click on one of these two videos right here if you're enjoying the content and wanna watch some more. Got a couple ideas up my sleeve, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna come on back and see what we have in the future. As always, thank you for stopping on by, and that's it for me today. Bye for now.